On this RV organization, I'm going to tell you the big things I have learned over the years about RV organization and share a few of my tips. Today, I am braving the heat. It is so hot out here, but because we have our new RV cover, it's not as hot as it normally would be, especially on these hot days. The sun just doesn't heat this up, and I really, I promise y'all, I do have a video coming about the RV carport. We've only been working on it for a year, and they are supposed to today come finish it, which means I can do my finishing video. If y'all have any topics of RV decor and organization that you would like me to cover, please leave me a comment below and let me know your ideas. Because, I mean, like, I still have some ideas for this whole organization and RV decor series, but I would love y'all's input on that. One thing that I have totally learned about RV organization, it is always evolving. I don't feel like there is a one size fits all when it comes to organization, especially in an RV. Every brand of RV and everybody's RV has different weird quirky spaces. I know for me, even if I wasn't doing this channel, I am constantly changing up a space. What seems to work for a little while may end up not working. And then sometimes things that I think, oh, this is gonna be perfect, end up not being perfect. When it comes to organization in your RV, you need to have an open mind and know that it is always evolving into something new because you may have to change it again. A big thing about RV organization, everything should have its place. If it doesn't, then everything just gets cluttered and turns into a mess. If everything has its place and you keep it in that place, then you don't have to worry about it. One thing that I try to always do, if I'm gonna put something down, I'm gonna put it up instead of putting it down. Cause typically it's gonna take you maybe 30, 40 more seconds to put it where it goes rather than just laying it on the counter. Cause if you keep laying it on the counter or you lay it over here or lay it over there, it just becomes a cluttered space. So to stay organized, if you're gonna put it down, put it up. Another thing that I've learned about the RV organization is when you're searching for stuff for your RV, don't just search for RV organization, search small space organization. And a lot of times those can be brought right into your RV because it is a small space. I know that seems pretty simple, but I know a lot of people, or I know that I did when I first got my RV, I researched everything RV related and I didn't go into that small space related items. And those two are very interchangeable. One thing that I have learned about RV organization is you have to be a Tetris expert because you may have to stack stuff. You just have to figure out how to use every last space that there is and make it work. Another thing is you have to take advantage of all the vertical space. For whatever reason, RV cabinets, they try to make them really tall, but they don't put shelves in there which I'm kind of glad about because if they put fixed shelves in there, then I couldn't make the space myself. I love getting stackable shelving for the spacers to be able to make that vertical space into what I need. But that is a big thing in RVs is there is a lot of wasted vertical space, but if you do it right, you can make it perfect. Another great organization area is your wall space. If you can turn your wall space into storage space, that works perfect for an RV because sometimes you have a little more wall space. Now I like mine for decor, but I do have a few places on my walls that I have turned into organization rather than it just being decor. Some places I've even got organization that is decor. Another thing that I have learned about organization in the RV that requires modifications. Like I added these shelves on each side of the mirror to add more organization space in the bathroom because the bathroom is super small. And sometimes 
you don't have all the space that you need. RV has such weird spaces like this cabinet here in the bathroom. It is super deep and it was impossible to get the things in the back. So I added a bucket and behind the bucket, I added pull out shelves so I could pull whatever is back there to me so I didn't end up having to stick my whole body in there and dig for it. And even on this, I had to think outside the box. The shelves that I picked out fit perfectly in the space, but you couldn't put them together and then put them in the space. They wouldn't work that way. So I had to put them together inside the cabinet, but they worked perfect. You need to think outside the box to make your organization work. We now have an Amazon storefront and we would absolutely love for you to go shop there. Link in the description box. Buying from our Amazon page helps us out and makes it where we can make more videos like this. I will put a link to my playlist of my RV organization videos because I have a lot of those on this channel. I organized my closet in a video several months back and I absolutely love how it turned out and it's been staying organized which makes me happy that it is working so well and we'll really see when we live in it a little bit more full time during the hunting season. There's a lot of dark hidden places in your RV which doesn't help you stay organized if you can't see the space but that doesn't have to be expensive either. I added these Dollar Tree lights in the back of the closet and that works perfect to lighten that space and I have several of them all through the camper to make those dark spaces seem brighter. Another great place to utilize for organization is the back of your doors. This is wasted space and I took this here, a bunch of Dollar Tree items and made my spice rack on the inside of the door with a bag rack and I love this mod that I did and it was super cheap. So organization doesn't have to be expensive in your RV. Now countertop space in an RV can be very hard to come by. There could be some mods that you could make, like I added to our island here, it's a flip down shelf. So when I don't need it, it is out of the way, but if I need it, I can open it up. I hope you've enjoyed this video, kind of going over the things that I've learned over the years about organization in your RV. And if you like this organization video, you'll love this one. Till next time, like and subscribe.